Hey guys, it's Pierigi from Gigi Designs, and in this video we're going to create uh, this uh, glass effect uh, in Figma, which is uh, very trendy at the moment. You see it on uh, all sorts of different tech and SaaS uh, fintech companies, websites, uh, and uh, it's actually really easy to achieve. So the very first thing uh, we're going to do is we're simply going to add uh, some of these uh, background uh, layers uh, as uh, the background, since uh, this is going to enable us to really see the class effect uh, and it's just going to make the whole uh, composition pop out. Now, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a rectangle, which is going to be the base uh, of uh, our card. Now, we're also going to apply some uh, corner radius just to smooth uh, a little bit the corners and uh, make them a little bit more on the round side of things. And we're going to change the color of the rectangle to white. Now at this point, uh, this is where the magic happens because uh, we're going to click on effects uh, and then we're going to select the uh, background blur. Now, as you can see, nothing happens. And the reason being is that uh, we need to change the opacity on the fill. It's very important to change it on the fill and not on uh, the layer, otherwise it won't uh, uh, work. And as you can see, the moment that we reduce uh, the opacity on the main fill, we're going to start seeing a little bit of this blur, but it's not really pronounced. And the, the reason being is that we need to increase uh, the background blur in uh, the effects uh, panel. Now at this point, uh, you can see how this is uh, working much, much better. We're also going to mimic uh, some uh, lighting uh, uh, effect in order to give it even more depth uh, by using a gradient uh, to this uh, uh, glass card and uh, as you can see this uh, really helps uh, to give a little bit of more depth uh, and speaking about depth uh, we also wanted to give uh, some uh, some depth uh, to the actual card so we're going to use the stroke in order to simulate uh, this effect uh, we're going to make it uh, white we're also going to apply a gradient uh, once again uh, in order to really make this uh, um, this effect uh, stand out and we're going to reduce uh, the very first uh, handle point uh, opacity in order to just make the whole composition uh, a little bit more subtle in uh, that sense. At this point uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to apply the text which is uh, going to go over here under the text or use the keyboard shortcut uh, T and uh, simply going to write uh, Geo Designs. Uh, it's already styled. I'm using uh, Montserrat, which is a free Google web font which you can download on uh, their website. Uh, going with semi bold, since usually on credit cards and uh, debit cards, uh, the fonts uh, are quite uh, thick, uh, and uh, you want to basically try and mimic, uh, you know, and extract those uh, visuals uh, as much as possible. I'm going to keep it to 22 for now. I'm actually going to create a duplicate over here. I'm going to write uh, my name, surname, and uh, let's probably just make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to use the scale tool, but you always want to check out that the numbers are rounded up. Now I'm actually going to um, duplicate this uh, at the company website uh, and uh, dash.com. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, here we have the basic effect. Now in order to add one extra uh, really important touch uh, to this uh, glass effect and give it that frosty uh, look on the surface is uh, we're actually going to add some noise uh, on a layer on top. So I'm simply going to add a layer which is a rectangle and then I'm going to use this plugin called Noise. So simply search for it uh, under the plugins in the community section and you're going to find it right away. It's called Noise and uh, you can just keep the default uh, settings really and uh, click on plus as you have the layer selected. You can see that the layer has now been applied. Now if I go and uh, basically try and uh, um, create uh, and resize the layer on top of the card and uh, if I also round up uh, the corners to try and match this as uh, close as possible you can also create a layer mask which is essentially going to do the same job 
uh, in a very precise way, but uh, we're, we're simply going to stick with this for, for this tutorial. And uh, we're going to apply a layer property of uh, overlay. <clears throat> now, as you can see, this uh, with this property applied, we have this uh, nice uh, frosted effect, uh, but uh, it's a little bit to emphasize this. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to decrease uh, the opacity in this layer. And as you can see, we can achieve this uh, really nice uh, frosted glass uh, effect uh, on top of uh, the card. And uh, we essentially have, uh, have it. So really hope that this uh, video was helpful. Uh, now you know how to create uh, your very own uh, glass uh, UI design effect uh, in Figma. And if you want to learn more about Figma, <clears throat> I'm a designer with te over 10 years of experience uh, where I share my knowledge here on this uh, YouTube channel. And uh, so if you want to learn more about uh, UI, UX design, web design, Figma, and uh, pretty much anything related to the digital design realm, feel free to check out the other videos and I'll see you soon.